Shalom, shalom. Today, we're reacting to Maintenance My Hair Unit with me. Full video. Let's talk about it. Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling this kingdom business. Man, so this is going to be, you know, one of these man weaves or, uh, or man hair unit, you know, videos. And today, man, you know, I already know what kind of foolishness is. And I want you to realize that people are getting further and further away from being real. They're getting more and more into the arena of being fake and partaking in fake things. And I want you to be mindful that, you know, oftentimes you see women embarrassed when their wig gets pulled off. But if you wouldn't have had this fake stuff on, you know, there would have been no embarrassment. There would have been no shame in you wearing your own hair, you know. And, man, I would encourage men not to not to partake in this this falsehoods, these illusions, this deception, because the same deceptiveness that women have been taking in, taking part of for many years, now men are starting to do it and call themselves justified. And at the end of the day, you can't stand beside me and you got this fake hair on your head glued to your hair and you're washing it like the same process women do wigs. You cannot consider yourself a real man, but partaking in fake stuff like this. And this is something that there's a, a clear separation. You have to separate yourself as a man from this kind of foolishness. Let's watch this. Maintenance my unit with me. So first let's start by removing the unit. Uh, the hell? That you can <laughs> what? By um, I'll saturate my skin and the unit and slowly start to pull it off. Man, why not just rock a, 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 a low cut, like a super low cut or a bald head? I'll then use some more adhesive remover and a comb to kind of gather the rest of that glue off of my scalp. And then I'll take some alcohol, put it on a towel to clean it off with it. This part, honestly. Man, it's like people are trying to uh, defy Father Time, man. You know, everybody's not going to be able to, to keep it. Everybody's not going to be able to have it. But, you know, everybody's got their own, you know, struggles that they will go through. But embrace them, man. Embrace your struggle. Embrace what you're going through. Embrace your aging. You know, a lot of times men know this stuff is genetic. So you better enjoy it while you got it. But don't take too much pride into it to where the point that, you know, you not or losing your hair can affect your confidence Man, your confidence shouldn't come from your hair. Your confidence should come from the doggone righteousness in you. Honestly, feels amazing. I'll wash and condition my hair. Um, normally, while I'm doing that, I've already let my unit sit in that adhesive remover for a Same thing minutes. they do with wigs. One trick I've learned is to take a spoon. Trick. Uh, while it's in that adhesive remover. I ain't got to do no uh, tricks on this. I scrapes the adhesive off of the once you finish scraping up all of the adhesive from the unit, you need to wash and condition. Man, I'll tell you, like, at one point, you know, the barber was like, man, we can put this stuff in your hair. It's called Beijing and blackout and all this stuff. And for a couple years, I did that, man, in my early, well, in my late 20s. But as I got older, man, I'm like, I'm not paying no extra $15 for this doggone spray paint on my head. As soon as I take a shower, it runs off. Like, you out of your mind. Like, I'm just going to rock a low cut or a bald head and, and, and roll with it. You can see, like, my hair is thinning, and I'm cool with it. Like, but my confidence comes from inside and the way I carry myself. Not this doggone, uh, this, this, this hair on my head. Uh, definitely be gentle. You don't want to tear the lace or pull off any hairs from the sides. Otherwise, you'll have trouble achieving a more realistic look. Not That's very deceptive, man. Middle part of your head. I usually follow along where my barber already shaved, 
and then I'll use an eyeliner pencil to kind of map out eyeliner pencil to be, and then start fitting it on my head to make sure that it still fits. I'll then take some of this bold hold. I am pretty accurate, glue. so I get the one for all the skin. I'll then use a that's what it is glue the same way that glue weave in. So I suggest using one no more than two coats or tracks in. I'll then begin placing the unit where I want it to be. I don't want to press. You're looking at a fake man. In case I mess up. But once Meaning I the, the unit, image that he's giving you is it, it, false. It's deceptive. David said, "I hate every false way." Make sure that you stretch it out so that way you have no lumps. This is the same thing Jezebel Since does. Moves, I use the movie, uh, pretty dope, and use a generous amount of foam to lay this bad boy down. To give you the image that it looks real. That's what this is. Just make sure that I lay it flat and really blend it into my hair because I'm going to take my stock. Now, a woman will come along. Now, when he put this fake hair on his head, just like women, he's going to move in a confidence that he actually can, you know, that he actually has this hair. I normally stop when the unit is completely dry or when my. Scars of insecurity. Here's the results. Yeah, I think this is a good song. As a woman, you'd be like, man, I'm getting me a real dude. This man got some good hair. <laughs> man, this man got this stuff glued on his head. They're gonna line it up like some real hair. Here's, here's that here's that enhancement stuff. Think about this as a woman. You going out with somebody on the first date. They're deceiving you. This is deceptive. Man, boy, this world is getting faker and faker. We're seeing men do the same foolishness that women do. How much time did this man spend on putting this, uh, this doggone fake hair in his head, gluing it, washing it, conditioning it? Man, just rock a low cut, a bald head. You know, be confident in what you have. That's the name of the game. Be confident in what you have. Everybody's not going to have everything. You see what I'm saying? But... You will have a woman out here and she'll be like, man, this, this dude is, this dude is fine. <laughs> this dude is fine. And it's going to be that, it's going to be that day where you want to go do something like a water sport or something and do something outdoors. And you be like, yeah, I really can't do that. And that, that doggone, uh, that unit is going to be coming undone and he's going to be trying to figure out, okay, I need to hurry up and Barbara, can I get in? And it's just a whole bunch of deception. That's all it is. And men and women are getting more in this arena and less away from being filled with the spirit of truth. Closer to y'all ministries kicking a gumbrell straight. Bow.